Defense Committee for New York Supreme Court now says it refuses to take disciplinary action against New York Senator Chuck Schumer for his public threats against two conservative Supreme Court justices. Here's one America's Richard Pollack. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. New York Senator Chuck Schumer's extraordinary public attack last March on Supreme Court Justices Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch shocked conservatives throughout Washington. Immediately after his attack at a pro-abortion rally on the steps of the Supreme Court itself, Chief Justice John Roberts issued a rare public rebuke of the Democratic Senate leader. Roberts said, threatening statements of this sort from the highest levels of government are not only inappropriate, they are dangerous. The very next day, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell took to the floor of the Senate to slam Schumer. At the very best, his comments were astonishingly, astonishingly reckless and completely irresponsible. And clearly, as the Chief Justice stated in a rare and extraordinary rebuke, they were, quote, dangerous, end quote, because no matter the intention, words carrying the apparent threat of violence can have horrific unintended consequences. At the time, the American Bar Association and the president of the New York Bar denounced the Democratic leader, but not New York's Attorney Grievance Committee, which is a part of the New York State Supreme Court. The committee disciplines lawyers for professional misconduct. Last March, the National Law and Policy Center filed a complaint against Schumer before the Grievance Committee. The committee has remained silent for five long months. But in a July 27th letter to the center, the committee claimed Senator Schumer's attack may have been protected as free speech under the First Amendment and that it was a political speech. They refused to sanction Schumer and asserted that no action is warranted. When American News sat down with the center's counsel, Paul Kavanaugh, about the committee's inaction. So what actions would you like to see the committee do? Well, I mean, they have a variety of menu of actions that they can take. The, the bar committee can uh, discipline them in a number of ways. The big one is disbar. Uh, that, uh, that won't happen. We think that he should at least be admonished, uh, either publicly or censured is another uh, uh, remedy they could do. And they have one more category. They have a category that says, even if we don't think disciplinary action is warranted, we can send out a private letter of advisement which says, look, you may not have crossed the line here, but you came pretty close. They won't even do that. So we're asking that the bar committee do its duty and not sweep this under the rug. It's, it's an outrage. What does this say about New York attorneys, the New York Bar Association? I dare say if it was a conservative senator up there in the Supreme Court excoriating and threatening Justice Ginsburg, Oh, you better believe that the New York bar would be uh, on that senator if he was a licensed attorney as well. Kaminer notes the Senate Ethics Committee also is reviewing Schumer's threats against the justices. He added the center will file a lawsuit against the Grievance Committee for dereliction of duty if they take no action against the Democratic leader. For One American News, this is Richard Pollack from Washington.